The purpose of this video is to help you understand what the normal distribution is and how it is used. It is good to be comfortable with the normal distribution since it helps explain the results of everyday activities. This is an introductory video to help you understand the basics so that you can build on this knowledge. You will learn how to problem solve using the normal distribution later on in the semester. The normal distribution represents many things from explaining heights and weights of a group of students, grades on a standardized test, and even the time it takes to run a mile. Here, we have students who just ran. There are a few individuals who are very fast, a larger group of individuals who were around average, and there were a few individuals who were very slow. Let's turn to look at the bell-shaped curve. Here is the normal distribution. This bell-shaped curve is split up into six sections, which are defined as standard deviations from positive three to negative three. Now, let's compare the students' mile times on this chart. We might find that the mile times are similarly distributed to that of the normal distribution. Let's chart the times. The majority of individuals finished with an around average mile time. Some individuals ran a very fast mile and some ran a very slow mile. Now we can see the resemblance. Now that you can see how data sets can resemble the normal distribution curve, let's move on to other attributes of the normal distribution. There are some percentages that are important to be familiar with, so let's discuss those. First off, let's talk about its symmetry. The curve's total area is equal to 1, or 100%, and its middle point is the mean, or average. 50% of the data falls at or above the mean, 50% of the data falls at or below the mean. These six standard deviations aren't just here to look pretty. 68.2% of the data will actually fall between negative one and positive one standard deviations. 95.4% of data will fall between negative two and positive two standard deviations. And then a total 99.7% of data will fall between negative three and positive three standard deviations. And a last few data points might fall on the tips of the tail. I hope this helps you have a better understanding of the normal distribution. Later on, you'll learn more about how to calculate the standard deviation, define probability levels, perform significance tests, and problem solve.